so my name is Jamie and uh, I've been asked if I could do a reading for the month of October so I do a daily meditation every morning 7 15 uh, Eastern so this is going to be a reading to cover each week in my, um, in October and see where we're going with October so just to get started I'm gonna take that breath and I'm going to take my cards and I'm going to shuffle them and each time I shuffle them I personally listen to them like they're the sounds of the waves so I can just kind of like relax take a breath let my shoulders droop and I tell you what let's let's take the deck and let's actually spin it in half here Again, just relaxing Seeing what the universe has for us. Let me do that one more time. Okay, now, here's my stack. And each one of these stacks that I'm creating is a different thread going out to the universe. Each one of these threads is a different conversation, a different thought. If you believe in the butterfly effect, based on which one is chosen, each one of these will have a different outcome and a different conversation. So we're looking to see what's going on in October, and I'm going to look and see what's underneath. I'm going to take the bottom stack to see what's underneath everything. So I'm going to lay out. First week, second week, third week, fourth week. So what is underneath these? What is maybe something we don't see, some driving factor? What's underneath and connecting each one of these weeks? And that is going to be the theme for the month. Okay? So... All right, so for the first week, coming out of September, we have the Ten of Coins, I mean, the Ten of Wands reverse. So, tens are about completion. And here we are, it's the first day of October. So, this week is about letting go of those things that piled up in September. Uh, the Ten of Wands, as you can see, this person here. Uh, this is how we're coming out of October with all those things, a lot of baggage, things that may not have been completed, things that are finally done or just burdens that we've taken on ourselves. And this is asking us to spin this around and to start something fresh. So this is good for saying, all right, so instead of just piling up everything that didn't get, gun, get done in July, I carried into August. Whatever didn't get carried into July and August, I'm going to take into September. And now this is saying, you know what? We're coming into a whole brand new season. This week, let's focus on the first week. Letting go of those burdens. Letting go of those things that we carried across with us. The second week is about the indecisions. So if we can let go of the stuff the first week, we can make a list. It's, it's a focus of just relieving those burdens. The second week, it's about making choices and not sure where to go with those choices. So I'm going to see what's underneath these. It's the Ace of Wands. So... As we are releasing these things, trying to figure out what to do, the second week is saying, okay, we've got decisions to make. We have new things to start because we have the Ace of Wands under here showing that, yeah, we're moving forward. And now we are stuck here 
and the second week is showing indecision. So the thing is, is we need to try and figure out how to turn this two around so that we can start actually making decisions this week. Because we're gonna move into the third week. And the third week, it's the seven of coins reversed. So the seven of coins is about, you know, the potentials. Are we moving forward? We're, we've, we've got this plan, we're trying to make this decision, but it seems that this month, and this is coins now, so we've got wands covered, we have swords covered, so that means we have all this bird and this energy, and we have this indecision. This week it's almost like, or this month is gonna be about making some changes and struggling with those changes. Relief, releasing this burden, so far from what I'm seeing with this story, is not going to be an easy thing. But it's an important thing. And struggling with that decision. And feeling like we're not making any progress. So what's tying the second week and the third week together? The Page of Pentacles. Pages can be people, they can be us, they can be uh, situations. But the basic gist is, is that underneath, between the Ace of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, there's a lot of uncertainty going on here because pages are the young ones, they're the ones that are, you know, it's about learning. It's like the pages are the ace of wands of the court cards because it's beginnings, it's learning, but we're not finding ourselves in October. This is a search that's going on and it's about indecision and, and, and not finding ourselves. So as we come out of October, we end up with the wands again, four of wands and reversed. So keep in mind, I mean, you saw that I flipped the cards. I flip the cards all the time. And so they should be about 50-50. So the question is when you see this many reversals, what are they trying to say? They're not saying, hey, try shuffle again, because that's not how this works. But this is saying that As I said, it's it's one of those things where July we carry the stuff into August. August we carry stuff into September. Here we are with September, and here we have all these burdens and the things that we're still dragging forth, and we can't make a decision. And so it's almost as if we're choosing not to let go of that ten of ten of us, that burden from the ten of wands. You know, there's there's things we can do. You know, because pages, again, are beginnings. Aces are beginnings. And towards the end of October, we're going to feel that pressure to get something done. And the hermit reversed is underneath everything, which means we're going to feel that press for time. So what is the theme for the month of October? The lovers reversed. For October. What is it that we're carrying over from September that we're not letting go of? What choices are we not able to make? Because we have the two choice cards here. The lovers is about making choice. The lovers uh, are not just relationships, but it's the choices we make in our relationships, whether with people around us, situations, or anything else like that. But the theme of this is that we're carrying stuff over. And we're not making the choices. This is the major 
that popped up in here. This is the theme for the month of October. So the point here is that with knowledge, with advanced forethought, the question is, what do we need to do to make the decisions? To turn this around so that the lover's card is right side up so that we can make these decisions. So it shows that we, we acknowledge the burdens and the 10 reversed is about hopefully letting go of the burdens. But it feels to me like if it's a reverse and it's a negative of the 10 of, 10 of wands, it's like not letting go of the burdens and just carrying them forward. And it's because we're choosing to make, not make a decision. We have choices. We have, you know, we could start over new. There's here that are opportunities, but we're not making those choices. And so there is no progress. There is no moving forward. You know, sevens are about progress and, and moving forward. And there is none because we're not making these decisions. And so by the end of October, the four of wands is about celebrating, coming together, stability and all that wonderful stuff like that. But underneath it, we feel the hermit and the time constraints. And here we are at the end of the month. So again, this is where we need to breathe, take inventory. We need to understand what each one of these 10 things are, okay? Maybe make a list. What is the top 10 things I'm carrying through into October? Why can't, why didn't I get rid of it last month or why is it following me? What do I need to do to be able to make the decision so I can take the spontaneity of this Ace of Wands. I can grasp it, this idea, and move forward so that I can learn from it and plant this seed so that I can turn this seven around, so that I can feel like I have a potential, like I can feel like it's growing and changing. And if I feel that way, then the hermit's going to reverse because I'm not going to feel the pressure. I'm not going to feel the pressure. So these underlying things is a growth. This is the idea. This is us taking the idea just like a child would with brand new seed and planting it. And with this underneath, if we can turn this seven around so that we do feel that potential, we don't feel that pressure for time, then we're able to turn. So at the four of wands by the end, we can say we've actually let go of all the stuff from September. And we've actually turned the six, the lover's card, right side up instead of being upside down. So again, focus on what we're carrying over from September. Focus on why we can't let it go. Because if we can't do that by the second week, then everything else is just going to end up being reversed again. But we can do this because that's the point. I don't believe that things are destined. Things are fated to be one way or the other. Again, now that we have a focus, we have a choice. List out the stuff that we're carrying from September. Come up with a, the method, the idea, the plan. 
and just make that decision so that the rest of the month can follow through. We start today and the rest of the month takes care of itself. So I hope that helps. Uh, again, thank you all very, very much. And feel free to join me again uh, Monday through Friday for my morning 715 Eastern daily reflection. I hope this helps and thank you so very, very much.